Welcome to our new video. In this video, we will be seeing how we can implement and do the setup for the SCSS. Okay, so I will start it from basically like creating project. So this is our command. Let's say ng new demo two. Okay. So after this, it will ask to choose uh, what we can say to allow us to choose what are the frame preprocessors we have. So out of that. Let's say CSS, CSS is there, that is the by default one which we get. SCSS is there, SAS is there, less is there. Okay, so today we will see how do we set up SCSS preprocessor. Just we have to uh, use the buttons to select and then press enter. So it will create the project. I will stop it, let it install. Okay, so it will create the basic project with the SAS implementation. Okay, so basic project is created. Next thing is like we have to create a mixing file where we will keep all our variables and the functions. Okay, so in the source file, I will create one file. Let's say okay. So here we will create functions to get. Let's say we are focusing on the colors okay so we will create a function to get the color let's say function color so the parameter let's say dollar color hyphen name is there now definition we have to return the color name color value whenever we get that color code where hyphen hyphen color then hash then curly, curly bracket what are the parameter we have got just to match it that's it okay this is a simple function which will return the color okay so for now we need we need to create a variables to match that it will get the color whatever we pass to this function so in sas style.scss we will create first we will import that mixing import then at the root we will create our variables let's say if you can see here in the function we have added hyphen hyphen color so we just need to match the same criteria then here also you can see after hyphen after color we have one hyphen so that will be our separator let's say primary primary is my one color so primary normally when we work with bootstrap or normal framework we uh, treat blue color as a primary so i will store the hash value 0 d 5 f 9 b okay next let's say color again secondary secondary we will treat it as for what you can say gray let's just select y and then make it gray so gray will be kind of this let's add one more color let's take it white okay so these are three variables which we have for the colors primary secondary and the white so we will pass primary secondary or white so it will have white here then it will try to find out variables using color then our what are the parameters we get okay so this is first thing next let's say we have app components let's get remove all the basic content one paragraph here demo let's add a class here let's say p custom okay so now this class we have to create so color 
So normally what we used to do, we just used to pass the value here. Now instead of this, since we are using variables, so we don't have to write any static variables in our any components. All we have to use the variables which we have created in the global SCSS. Okay, so for that we have to call our function color and we have to pass primary. Let's add some font. Bold. Font size. Let's say 32 pixels. Let's save and check. Okay. So we can inspect here. Okay. So if you can see, we are not getting any color. It is dash and means it has not got that uh, function and it has not certainly written that color. What we missed is we missed to import mix in here because in that mix in only we have that function. Then only we can use this color function. In app, we have mix. Let's save and check. Okay, so now you can see color we have got blue. Let's hide second, let's pass a secondary. App component. Okay, so this is way how you can create different variables in mixing, then all the variable declaration you can do it here, just like for the color we have added, same thing. Let's say font weight is my one of property then bold colon let's make it 900 value let's copy paste normal normal we can say 500 okay so here let's create another function font Wait. Okay. So instead of here color name, we can use font. Wait. Same. We need to pass it here. Okay. So now style dot css. This is our proper variable name. Instead of color, we have to use this. Now, in CSS, instead of bold, we can pass our function name, font weight, then our value, let's say bold, let's save and check, if something is not correct, see this is our function font weight, let's first save all the file, might be the reason no something is breaking on a mixing okay spelling mistake is there okay so same parameter whatever we get the parameter we just have to pass it in the return step let's check it now so yeah you can see it is bold okay instead of bold let's pass normal So you can see the normal text we have got. So the benefit of the using SaaS is like if you if your application has some certain theming and you don't want your developer to use any color, so you can implement all the primary, let's say secondary, font sizes, font families, whatever you have to restrict them to use. So you can declare all them here and create the functions and then then they just have to use the function and pass the properties or the variables we have as per our theming. So that is the advantage of SaaS. That is the that are the various uh, one of the various preprocessor we have. Okay. Thank you and please do subscribe and keep watching.